thank, uh, say thank you to the to Volt uh, Bridge Mission and the uh, Rhino team. It's very important that you decided to support us in these days, and we all know that uh, our safety and safety of uh, Ukrainian Jews, everything is coming from Almighty, and thank you for helping us to help them and to bring them home, uh, even in the days of war in Ukraine. Our Christian friends and partners donated to make Aliyah from Ukraine possible, and today we're welcoming a flight with over 200 new Olim, new immigrants to Israel. Many of them got in their cars and began driving when the war started uh, last Thursday. And they crossed the border and they were taken care of in our Jewish agency accommodations and facilities. And now they uh, arrived in Israel. They're making Aliyah and they're coming to Israel. And so today is a joyous day, a day we've all prayed for and hoped for. And this is the beginning of a wave of Aliyah from Ukraine. Hundreds and then thousands will come over the coming weeks and months. And we have a part to play in that. So as you can see, God is bringing back the Jewish people to the land of Israel from the north, the south, the east, and the west. Today, the north is arriving in Israel and in a big way. So we have a big part to play. Shalom to all our Christian friends around the world. Thank you very, very much for your generous support, for helping us bringing those refugees, those Jewish refugees from Ukraine, landing now in Israel. You can see the airplanes inside me, and you can see the wonderful Olim. We are actually saving life. And I want to say thank you very much for all of your support from the deepest of my heart. To Daraba. As the plane closes, so it was really dangerous, and uh, we had like a real panic. We were in bomb shelter and from bomb shelter I had to evacuate to Poland. First I evacuated then my family and we were separated because they came later. They didn't want first to go but they saw us who are here. So they evacuated to Moldova and now finally the Dreyfus and we're going to be connected here in Israel. How, does it, how did you feel when the plane landed in Tel Aviv? Uh, really excited, but finally I'm gonna be excited when I pack all my family. It's been has it been tough for you the last week? Yes. So. Yes. What do you hope? What do you do? You think there'll be a lot of Ukrainian Jews who will come down yes. to Israel? I'm sure. Why I'm, do you think so? I saw, I'm sure it's gonna be huge Aliyah this time. And do you know of people who were trying to come now that weren't planning to come before? Uh, I know lots of people that didn't plan, but they changed their plans. Like my uh, my neighbor in the room. Uh, so it happened to her, so it happened with lots of Jews, they didn't plan to come, but they're here. And that's good in some way, and luckily they're safe. And what was your name, and how old are you? Uh, Tovia, I'm 31. 31, and where are you from originally? I'm from Kiev. From Kiev, okay. Who helped you to come to Israel? Like, how did you, how did you manage to uh, come? Saknut and von Drusbe. Okay, good luck. Thank you. What should people know about what's happening in Ukraine right now? What, what should the world know? She's beautiful. Can you can you tell me can you tell me if uh, who helped you come here? My mom and father here. They live here in Israel, and now you're going to live with them. Never think about it. You never thought about making Aliyah? But the war changed everything. And did, did the Sukhnut help you? How, how did you meet the Sukhnut? Uh, we just come to the embassy. Embassy? Uh, yes. But there are nobody and two people stand there and say, okay, let's go to Israel. <laughs> Wow, so you must be really in shock. And and when they said to you, okay, let's go to Israel, how did you feel? Uh, good. I think it's a good idea for my daughter. How old is she? Four. Wow. So your parents must be so happy. So are you happy to be here now? Wow. Thank you. Really wishing you all the all the best. And your daughter's how name is. The Israeli side of your head, they're helping. How did you feel? Uh, it 